Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly with Saving Money with Kelly and I just did a CVS and a Target haul. So I wanted to show you guys exactly what I got. Um, over here with Target, we have a, I bought a bonus that expires on, for me, the 12th. I think it's like the 13th at 2 a.m. or something like that, but in my mind, January 12th, it ends. I have to do 30 rebates. I think I did five, maybe. I'll show you when we get there. And then I hit CVS, I had a 10 off of 50, so I went ahead and grabbed some deals. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did, but um, there's tons more going on at CVS this weekend. I am going back on, this is on my card. I am going back with, um, I think two or three more deals I wanna do on my card, and then I may do a couple deals on my mom's card this week. She doesn't have any extra bucks expiring, and I don't need anything. Um, so we'll see if I do her card. Let me know if you guys wanna see a second haul with CVS. I usually do a second haul, but it will be small. So let me know if you wanna see that. Um, but I'm gonna turn the camera around and tell you what the deals are. Okay, so I'm gonna start here with Target. It was a pretty good haul. Um, this total, well, let's go over the deals first and then I'll tell you what my totals were. Um, so first thing I grabbed here are the Nature Made Vitamins. If I were to grab two of these guys, it would have been a money maker. But um, I don't need that vitamin. <laughs> and the, other, the only other vitamin that was the same price as that was something else I didn't need. I think it was folic acid. So the small guy here, the Nature Made Vitamin A, was $4.99. The Energy B12 gummies were $7.99. It's buy one, get one 50. So of course it's gonna take 50 off the, uh, the lowest price here. So let me give you my exact numbers. So the vitamin C was $7.99 at a $3 coupon from this past Sunday's paper, and it was for the gummies only. And then there's a $2 coupon off of this guy. So he's $2.50 with the 50% um, off. There's a $2 coupon um, actually in your Target app if you scan it, um, or you can use the one from the paper. I used the one on my app just so I could save my paper coupon because I got three papers and only one of them had these coupons in it. But um, after those coupons out of pocket, you're gonna pay $5.49 and then you get $2 back on each from Ibotta or a total of $4. So it's $1.49 for both of those. I think that's a pretty good deal for vitamins. Um, I was looking for the vitamin C, the same price, but they were out. So like I said, if you do two of these, it is a money maker. So do what you wanna do, but I think I will actually use these. So that was that deal. The Kraft Mac and Cheese deal, um, it's just buy four, get them for 89 cents a piece. If you're not brand specific, the Target brand is cheaper, but I, I don't know. I, I like my Kraft. I tried um, off brands and they just have a little bit of a different taste to me. Um, I never tried actually the Target brand, but I've tried Audis. I like these. My son doesn't care, but I went for the Kraft. Um, then I went ahead and grabbed this Go Go Squeeze. It's the Smoothies blend of yogurt, fruit, and oats. This is on sale this week for $2.50, and there's a dollar I bought it back, so that makes it a dollar fifty. If you've been watching my hauls the past year, I grab pouches like this all the time, and we've just never tried this one. We've tried the yogurt and we've tried the just the fruits and the fruit and veggies. My son likes them, but I didn't want to go crazy on these if he didn't care for them. So we're gonna try these tomorrow, see how he likes them. If he likes them, I'm probably gonna go back if this Ibotta resets and grab five. It does. Ex it did say it expires in three days. So we'll see if I can make it happen, but um, it all depends if he likes them. Um, next here is the Truvia. Now, if you printed the $1.50 printable on coupons.com, it was there yesterday. This is a money maker. Uh, I went in to print it today. It was gone, <laughs> at least on my account. So, um, this is on sale this week for $2.50. I used a dollar off coupon from the, the paper this Sunday. I'm sorry, I didn't write down if it was Retail Me Not or Smart Source, but it's in this past Sunday's paper. Uh, you pay a dollar fifty out of pocket, and there's a dollar fifty back on Ibotta, which just makes it completely free. If you have that dollar fifty um, printable from coupons.com, it's a fifty cent money maker. So I grabbed that just to grab another Ibotta rebate. And then lastly, I grabbed these two Thermacares. Um, the deal on these. Okay, I'm gonna give you the deal that I had written down. They didn't have the one that I wanted, 
So of course I didn't redo my math. These were $5.99 a piece, but I wrote down to get the back and hip two count, which is $5.89. So if you got the back and hip, it's $11.78 for both. There's a 25% off cartwheel, which takes off $2.95. I used two $3 off coupons from the one five retail me not. So out of pocket, I paid $2.83. I bought it gave me back two dollars for this one and two dollars for this one so that right there makes it a money maker but then there's three dollars back on saving star which makes this a four dollar and seventeen cent money maker like i said though i paid 5.99 so i'm i paid 10 cents each 10 cents more on each than the numbers i just gave you so we can find the back and hip that's the numbers four dollars and seventeen cent money maker i'm 20 cents more so let's call it a four dollar money maker but still awesome deal so this deal helped pay for all of this my total on this guy this whole haul out of pocket I paid sixteen dollars and two cents I redeemed ten a ten dollar gift card and a five dollar gift card on Shopkick to pay for this and then I paid a dollar oh two out of pocket I got back ten dollars and sixty cents on Ibotta for one, two, three, four rebates, but this one I did quantity of two and this one I did quantity of two. So it only counts for four rebates for my big bonus. Um, I got back $3 from save, or will get back $3 from Saving Star on this guy. And then I submitted to Fetch, I got five cents. Um, I'm not really sure what gave me extra points, but I got five cents instead of the typical two. So that made this entire haul two dollars and thirty seven cents. So sixteen oh two out of pocket, and I got back thirteen dollars and sixty five cents. So that's pretty awesome. If you count this stuff as free, I paid forty. I think I I did the math and I didn't write it down, but it's like forty seven cents per item of these five items. So for the all of those items, that is amazing price, and then everything else free. So I'm happy with that. Um, let me know if you guys found any other deals. I will maybe go back one more time and if some of these reset, we'll see. It depends if I can make it. All right, now, here is my CVS haul. Let me get to my notes here. So the first deal I grabbed were the Huggies. Um, this is just simply something I needed. It is more out of pocket, but when you know my totals at the end, it. I couldn't be happier. So, um, three things of Huggies, total $31.29. They're part of the spend 30, get back 10. Um, they are two for 20 and one at eleven twenty nine. So I debated getting four because there's three off two Huggies coupons and I decided against it just because this was cheaper, but honestly, I think I would have paid like a dollar a pack at the end had I gotten that other Huggies, so I probably should have grabbed it because we're gonna go through them. But anyway, I had a three dollars off of two Huggies coupon from the um, again, I didn't write it down, but last last Sunday's paper, the January 5th, I don't know if it was Smart Source or Retail Me Not, but three off two. There's also a three off two on your app, which ended up applying for me and it wasn't supposed to, so um. I had given enough extra bucks to cover it, so it just adjusted down one of my extra bucks, which isn't what I would have preferred to happen, but it is what it is. I was still happy with my end result. Um, there's a dollar off app only coupon for one Huggies pack, and then I had a three off 15 diaper CRT. Now I did have a 10 off of 50 that I combined. They did both go through because my total before coupons was 68.05. So if you add the 10 off of 50, to the three off of 15, I would have had to spend $65 and I spent 68.05, so it did work. So I just wanna explain that to you guys, but um, out of pocket for just the diapers was 24.29 and you get back 10. So 14.29 for two packs is not too great, but if you apply that 10 off of 50, that's what makes it a great deal. And I will explain my totals at the end. Now, this L'Oreal, I did not get a three off two coupon in the paper, but I noticed that there was a printable on coupons.com, which I also did not print, <laughs> but there's a three off two on the app. So I used that and everybody's getting a three off two from the red box. So it's $8, you take off six in coupons, 
you pay two dollars or a dollar a piece i would not have done that if i didn't have my town for 50 but um word on the street and it's happened every time i've ever done it if you use the paper coupon the digital will also come off which will make them free so keep that in mind if it doesn't work for you please don't come after me and get mad but it's worked for me every time had i had the paper coupon i would have used it and that would have been completely free Next is the Revlon. Um, again, I got three papers and only one of my papers had the Revlon coupons. So um, I think they're just, I don't even want to say regional because my region got them, but only certain papers got them. So these guys are $12.49 a piece. I used the buy one, get one coupon from this past Sunday's paper. Everybody's going to $4 mystery CRT. So out of pocket, after those coupons, I paid $8.49 and I got back $8. So $0.49 cents for the both of them. Now be careful because I grabbed two different lip glosses that were also tagged at $12.49. They were like the smaller ones. They were probably like this size. They were tagged $12.49. They rang up $11 something, $11.24 or something like that. Had I used both of them, I would have not gotten my extra bucks because it's spend 12 get 4 and it's a limit of six. So I spent 24 to get back my eight, but had they rung up $11, I would only spent 22 and I would have only gotten one of my extra bucks. So watch out for that. That made me nervous. Thank God I caught it and, the man, and I had a manager as my cashier and she knows me by now. So I said, can I just put this whole transaction on hold? You can ring someone else up and I will be right back. And she voided my transaction. I came back and redid it because that would have messed everything up and it probably would have kicked out my other coupon too. All right, then the last deal I did here is the Maybelline deal. It's buy two, get five. I got the Great Lash with $6.79 and the eye pencils are $4.99. So total are $11.78. I had a dollar off the pencils in the 1.5 Retail Me Not and a $2 off the mascara in the 1.5 Retail Me Not. And then I had a $2 great lash crt so those coupons took off five dollars i paid 6.78 out of pocket and i'm getting a, or i got a five dollar back extra buck but then there's a two dollar um saving star and a one dollar saving star for these guys which makes these a dollar and two cent money maker when you count in the saving stars so that's everything i was going to do a free covered girl deal but my store did not carry the mascara that was cheap enough um, but if you get two mascaras at $6.99 and you use two, $3 off, I, um, I think they're just, I, I don't think they're mascara, but coupons from this past Sunday's paper and you use two $1 50 cent app only coupons, you'll pay $4.98 and get $5 back. That was my original plan. And I had to rethink it in store, which is why I went ahead and grabbed the L5. I wasn't planning on grabbing. I needed to get my total up there so I could use my three off of 15. Um, so I just wanted to tell you that deal. I may go back and grab it. There's also free toothpaste, but when you throw it in deals in larger transactions that um, it's a coupon, sometimes it just down, but it's $3.50 for the Colgate dollar manufacturer coupon in this past Sunday's paper, $2.50 instant, which makes them completely free. So that's another thing you can throw in there. Um, I have a couple other deals I may go back and do. Again, let me know if you wanna see that. But now for my grand totals. Out of pocket, I used $31 in extra bucks and my total was zero completely. I paid no tax because my state, you pay tax after extra bucks. So I didn't pay any tax and I used a $10 extra buck and a $21 extra buck. So $31. My $10 extra buck did adjust down to like $7 and some change because of that extra three off two coupon coming off, but that's okay. I got back $23 in extra bucks. I didn't get any back for the L5, eight back for the Revlon, 10 for the Huggies, and what did I get back for the Maybelline? Five for the Maybelline. So I got back $23 total in extra bucks. I'm getting $3 from Saving Star. I'm gonna get $6 in Beauty Bucks. I, had, I only needed to grab $9.51 to hit one beauty buck and then I spent more another 30 in addition to that. I hope that makes sense. But so I'm gonna get six dollars back in beauty bucks and I scan my receipt. I got five cents from fetch. So in total out of pocket I paid $31 and I got back $32.05 
which makes this a dollar and five cent money maker. So that's extremely amazing to get three packs of diapers for a money maker. And then of course, I probably wouldn't have paid anything for these guys anyway because I have so, so much makeup, but I need diapers. I would have been happy paying like $3 a pack for diapers. So to get them for a money maker, amazing. So I'm gonna step back, show you guys both hauls combined. So if you were to total these guys together, remember I paid $2.37 for that haul and a dollar money maker for that. Dollar and five cent money maker for that. That makes all of this on my table a dollar and thirty-two cents. Absolutely amazing. So any questions, as always, comment below. I am happy to answer any questions you have. Um, I'm just super, super happy with this. And again, let me know if you want to see a second CVS haul. I am gonna hit Rite Aid this week. I'm doing another ShopRite haul and hopefully a Walmart haul. So it's a busy, busy week, but with all of those inserts, I am back on my couponing game, and um, that's it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.